During late feudalism, 14th to 18th centuries, Armenians were on the verge of annihilation. The Mongols invaded Armenia, and later on, Armenia was divided between Turkey and Persia. The Armenian people were forced to leave their country, fleeing from tyranny of the oppressors. In this period, the immigration songs originated and developed. The imagery of the bird crane, separated from its flock, was a popular theme in these songs. Only by chance we know some of these songs since it was orally passed on from one generation to the next until it was finally recorded at the end of the 19th century and beginning of the 20th century. Music in the Middle Ages was further developed by the works of Ashus, who had many traits or characteristics in common with the Kusan. Both types of musicians wrote the words and composed the music of their pieces and presented their work to the public. Like Kusans, the Ashus used to play their music using any type of traditional musical instrument, like the lute, saz, or kaman, antur or tar, kamancha, a three string violin played with a bow vertically on the knee, and later on, violin. Ashu in Arabic means admirer, ashev. The Ashus lived in the city and had occupation which required them to remain seated most of the day. For example, Nagash Hovnatan was a painter, Sayat Nova was a weaver, and Sheram was a carpenter. Ashus would meet each other at the school of the composers. The first of such schools was the school of Nujulfa where the Ashus, Ekyaz and Bagir Ogli were members. Another renowned school was the school of Tbilisi, headed by the prominent teacher Sayat Nova. The center of the Eastern Armenian Ashus was at Yerevan, under the leadership of Shirin. Audiences of different nationalities used to listen to these Ashus, and some of the Ashos could even compose music in more than two languages. By this token, Sayat Nova was a genius. He composed and performed music in Armenian, Georgian, and other languages. The art of Ashos was oral, and the only way to indicate the composer of the piece was to mention his name at the end of each stanza. Most of the songs of the Ashos were of romantic context. On one hand, the Asho used to sing about love, and on the other, he would preach and advise morality and fairness. The Asho would essentially present his poetry in form of music. The music of Ashos is the professional form of national and traditional songs and music. This type of music is for recital and has great agility and improvisation. There used to be competitions among the Ashus, during which Ashus would ask and answer questions and solve clever riddles. Group competitions would take place in tea houses and cafes. Sayat Nova was born in 1717 and died in 1795. He is the greatest representative of this type of music. He was born and lived most of his life in Tbilisi. His name has different meanings in different languages. In Persian it means music or song lover or hunter. In Turkish means the grandson of Sayad. Most of his songs revolved around love and his beloved. He was an expert of poetry. He used all the methods of Ashur genre developed through centuries in his work and developed them even further. At the beginning of the 19th century, Eastern Armenia was joined to Russia and the great majority of Armenian lands remained under the reign of Turkey. Starting from this point in history, the Armenian culture flourished outside Armenia in the diaspora. The music expanded to include more themes. Songs were composed about the military service. These songs were mainly performed by women who were saying farewell to their husbands or sons. 
Ashur's role was even more significant during this period. Many Ashur schools were created specifically in Erzurum, Yerevan, Alexandropol, Ganja, Shamakh, and Astrakhan. The most talented Ashur of this period was Shirin. Another famous Ashur of that century was Ashur Jivan. During 40 years of his career, he composed and wrote 800 songs. His best and most popular song was By the Cold Stream. He used to perform with small musical ensembles, and he would play the kaman or the violin. There was a great interest by the public in Armenian music around this time. For the first time in history, the rural folk music and Ashur music were published. The Armenian intellectuals were trying to revive the development of the culture after a long period of abeyance in the past centuries. The most important cultural center of Eastern Armenia was Tbilisi. In the cities, besides vocal music, instrumental music was popular as well. There were the duduk players, zurna players, musical ensembles, and saz players. The duduk and the zurna ensembles used to have the same composition. The duduk ensemble was composed of the soloist, the second duduk player, and the tap. The Zurna Ensemble included a soloist, second Zurna, and the whole players. The Saz Ensemble was composed of the Kamancha, Tal, Nagaran, and Dab players. During this time, the city folk music was enriched by patriotic songs, which was a direct result of the struggle of Armenians in the Western Armenia against the Turks. Examples, the Tears of Rocks and Kilitya. In some songs, the influence of the traditional music was apparent. The center of the Western Armenian music was Constantinople, where Armenian musicians were composing and performing under very stringent conditions. They were often harassed by the government, and very often their discs were banned. National professional music formed and developed from the traditional music. The modification of traditional folk and dance music was also an important agent in the formation of Armenian professional music, as well as the city folk music.